Hello children of class 4. Welcome to this week's video on computers. This week I will be completing chapter number 3, Tools of a Word Processor. Before I begin today's class, quick recap on what we did last week. Last week we did selecting text, moving text, copying text and deleting text. This week we will do undo and redo, checking, spelling, mistakes and grammar and the third thing we will do is thesaurus. So children, do you understand the meaning of the word do, D-O, do? Of course you do. Do means to, well, do means to do something, okay? Some action to be performed, that is do, okay? You want to do studies, you want to go for games, you are something to do something, okay? Now, in real life, when you do something, you do it. There is no undoing it. Like if you are playing cricket inside your drawing room, hmm, cricket inside your drawing room with your brother, younger brother, and you break something. And you say, oh, I'm so sorry. Whatever I've broken, that flower was at the corner. Let it be joined again? No. If you were playing cricket inside your drawing room and you have broken your vase, it's broken. You can't say cancel my action. So in real life there is no undo, but in computers there is undo. In word, if you do something, you can always undo it. Okay. Here's a little definition. Okay. Undo reverses the last action and redo, redo, redoes the, uh, sorry, un redo reverses the last undo command. Now, I think what I have said has made only half sense. So now to clearly clarify everything, there is a small video clipping right after this. Here the word computer has been typed. Now suppose I decide to underline this word. To underline this word, I will double click on it and select it. And then I will click on underline. So now how does it look? Nice. Suppose you decide that no, I don't want it underlined. I want to cancel this underline. I want to undo this underline. You can do that. You have to click on the undo button. Right on top, beside the title bar, this is the quick access toolbar. And this button is your undo button. If I click on that, my underline is undone. So, underline is, has been removed. Oh. Maybe the underlining was better. Okay. So let's click on this button. This is the redo button. And underlining is back. If you want, you can again undo it. You can again redo it. You can again undo it. You can again redo it. Anybody else would get annoyed, but not the computer. You can undo and redo as many times as you want. Spelling mistakes. While writing something with pen and paper, all while typing on your computer, you do sometimes make spelling mistakes. If you are writing with pen and paper, if you make mistakes, well, there is no correcting it. But if you are working on MS Word and you make spelling mistakes, MS Word will help you to correct those mistakes 
And not just in one way, there are two ways in which the spelling mistakes and grammatical mistakes made by you can be corrected by MS Word by self. And the next part of the video, I will be explaining just that. Here I have typed two sentences. Ramesh is a clever boy. Rani is a smart girl. Since all of you are smart children, you can immediately notice that I have made two mistakes. The spelling of clever is wrong and Anne should not be there. It should be Rani is a smart girl. Now, how did this happen? This happened because I was maybe typing in a hurry. So, when you are typing in a hurry, you don't notice what you are typing and you make, make mistakes and then you don't even notice that you have made a mistake. So, now the computer points it out to you. It does something to tell you that you have made a mistake. Now, the computer cannot speak. It cannot speak. It cannot tap you on the shoulder and say, hey, you have made a mistake. So, this is how the computer tells you you have made mistakes. If you make a spelling mistake, it underlines the word in red. If you make a grammatical mistake, it underlines the word in green. Okay, so I have made two mistakes. Now, what do I do? One thing I can do, I can go and I have to correct them, right? One way is to click over here, rub the word and type it again. But there is a better option. I right click on the word and the computer gives me three options. So you must understand this computer is not a human being. It doesn't really understand what you are trying to type. So it has given you three words. Okay. And you have to choose which of the three words should be there. And immediately you will see that it is the first option, clever, which should be the right choice. So I click there and the red underlying is removed. Then here there is a grammatical mistake. I will right click on that and there is only one possible outcome A. I will click on that and AN is repl replaced with A. Isn't that nice? There is a second way of doing the corrections. I have typed one more sentence and this time I managed to make not one but three mistakes. Look at the spelling of today, look at the spelling of studying and look at the spelling of four. Now I know all these spellings, just to show you how to make the corrections I have made these spelling mistakes. So uh, this method of correcting mistakes are useful when you have typed a lot of text and you want to correct all the mistakes. First step, click on the review tab. Now there is the home tab, there is the insert tab, page layout tab and this is the review tab. Okay, click on review tab. Second step, click on spelling and grammar button. And after that, look the first word which we have made a mistake which was underlined in red that is shown here. Two suggestions are given today d and whichever one we think is the better word we will put over here so we will write today we will click on this and then we will go to change we will click on the change button and the correction has been done next we will go to the next word you will down arrow we are studying Okay, so two word suggestions have been put and I choose this one and we click on change and that correction is also made and four, now computer is not sure what you are trying to type so it has given many four letter words beginning with F and here is the word we were looking for, four. It's already selected so now I will click on change. 
and uh, there again this underlining in green because there is an extra space between R and the full stop. So we can either click on change or we can click on ignore once. The message box says the spelling and grammar check is complete. Let's click on OK. Let's check. Yes, all the spellings have been corrected. So just now you learned that to get that spelling and grammar dialog box, you have to first click on the review tab and then click on uh, spelling and grammar button in the review tab. Instead of these two steps, you can be done in just one step. Okay. So as this box says, the shortcut key to open the spelling and grammar box dialog box is to F7 key. So if you press F7, the spelling and grammar dialog box will come. Do you know what is a synonym? The synonym of a word are words with a similar meaning. For example, if you have the word boy, the synonyms of the word are lad, laddie, keeper and so on and so forth. And do you know what is the antonym? An antonym is a word which is the opposite of a word. Okay? So if the word is beautiful, its antonyms will be repugnant, ugly and many other things, many other words. Now in MS Word, there is a feature to replace a word, replace a word in your document with its synonym or antonym. So watch that in the next part of this video. You have been asked, suppose, by your English teacher to make a sentence with the word smart. And you have written this sentence, Ramesh is a smart child. Now, this sentence is grammatically correct, but you are not happy. You want to make it little extra special. So you decide that you will give a synonym for the word child. So the first step is, you select the word for which you want to find the synonym. So we will select the word child. Step 2, click on the review tab. This is the review tab, I am clicking on it. Step 3, click on the thesaurus button. This is the thesaurus button. The research pane opens. This is your research pane. And here there are a list of synonyms for the word child. Youngster, kid, teenager, teen, adolescent, youth and so on. So you choose youngster. You click on youngster and there is an arrow here. You click on that and then you choose insert and see what has happened the word child has been replaced with the word youngster before I finish this video let me do a quick review of this chap of Microsoft Word MS Word now look at this box what it says it says MS Word is a word processing software and it is developed by Microsoft Corporation. So you all know Microsoft Word or MS Word is used for typing. But it can do many more things other than typing. You can copy text, you can move text, you can change the color of words, you can do so many things. So just saying what MS Word is for typing is not a good definition. So the right term is word processing. MS Word is a word processing software. And 
a company has made it. The name of the company is Microsoft Corporation. Now the next box that comes, it says it is used to produce um, letters, reports and notices in a presentable and neat manner. Okay, so you know in MS Word you can type things and then you get a lot of notices from the school, circulars, question papers, these are all typed on MS Word. And the difference between using MS Word and writing with hand is that the work on MS Word is far neater and very presentable. So the next box says text can be modified and text can be beautified. How can you modify text? Well, when you type something you can always delete it using backspace or delete keys. You can always insert something in the middle. You can copy or move text from one location to another. These are all examples of modifying text. And beautifying text, I think you know how to make some words bold, underlined, in italics, change the color. All these things, ways we can make the word, uh, your document more beautiful. The chapter we will be doing after this, formatting in MS Word, we will do these things in much more detail. How to make your text more beautiful. They said text can be copied and moved from one location to another. We have done these things, copying and moving, the last video. So this is one more feature of Microsoft Word. The next box says documents can be previewed before printing and multiple printouts are possible. This is something we will explain nicely in the next chapter. Just a brief summary I am giving. You all know that whatever you type, you can print. And I have shown you that before you can print something, you can get a preview of what you have printed. And also while printing a document, it need not always print only one copy. Suppose you have to send some letter or some notice to 10 people, you can very well print 10 copies. Okay. More of this in the next chapter, which we will start next week. Okay. And this next box tells us that we can insert graphics or pictures in a document. Okay, now this isn't that nice. And you can also draw shapes like circles, rectangles, arrow marks, fancy arrow marks in your document. That we will not do this year. We will do it when you go to class 5. But all these things, wonderful things, can be done in MS Word. So children, with that I come to an end of today's video. What did we learn today? We learned three things today. We learned the meaning of undo and redo. We learned how spelling mistakes and grammatical mistakes can be corrected in MS Word. And we learned about thesaurus. With that, we also come to the end of this chapter. Next week, there will be a video on the next chapter. Till then, Tata, Goodbye, Namaste.